reset my seat. I just re welcome to reset my seat. I want to encourage us to continue in the spirit of worship. Let's worship the Lord with our words as we speak in other tongues. Let's worship him and thank him for access into his presence by the new and the living way. Amen. Anybody out there who believe God with me for an encounter this morning in the place of prayer that the spirit of, of grace and supplication will be supplied by the spirit of God in such a measure that we would bring our children even to a, a higher and better place in God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Unmute yourself and let's worship him. Let's thank him. Let's appreciate him. To your presence with thanksgiving, we come into your presence with praise. We worship you today, Father. It is the holy name of the Lord. We come into the presence of God, and we have come with no sense of guilt because we have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And the Lord sees nothing else but the blood when He sees the blood. We come into the presence of God. Oh, <laughs> the keeper of the children of his people, the keeper of the children of his people, the and I begin to thank the Lord for the children he has given to you. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for the children they are standing in for, for your sons and your daughters, for your nieces and your nephews. Go ahead and begin to declare that he is good and his mercies endure forever over their lives. Begin to declare that the mercies of the Lord forms like a cocoon around them and hems them in and protects them all day long. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord who has given you the gift of children who has who has rewarded you with the fruit of the of the womb go ahead and begin to declare your praise to the one who sustains the life of your children the one who preserves their going out and their community go ahead and call him all the names that he is to your children he is their healer he is their life giver he is their protector he is their deliverer he is their redeemer go ahead and, and begin to announce his name over every child and say, this God is our God. And even to the end, he will remain our guide. Go ahead and call your children by name and say, hey, I bring you before the Father as a sacrifice of praise. I bring you before the Father as an evidence of his goodness. And I declare that indeed the goodness of the Lord surrounds you and multiplies in your direction in the name of Jesus. Unmute yourself. It's time to call those children by name and say, ah, Father, I'm so grateful that your hand is upon this young man, this young lady. May your hand is upon the, 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 my daughters and my sons. Thank you. 
Funny love, how you? I spoke to Mrs. Abbasro Kashaka, and she said she hasn't been able to get through to Danielella. Oh, Father, your word says that you have that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free. Glory be to God. The, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. And Father, we have come in the, in the authority of that word because we know that in Christ Jesus, we are free from all of the destruction of sin and, 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 and the destruction of, of, of death. We are free from, from the destruction of the sin and death that is prevalent upon the earth. The Bible says by one man's offense, sin came on, on the earth. By one man's offense, by one man's sin, death began to reign. And so, but by one man's obedience, by the obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, righteousness has been restored life has been restored and that is why brothers and sisters we want to take sides with god this morning concerning all of the children that we are standing in for to say that the word of the lord is true over their lives the word of the lord in romans chapter 8 verse 2 that says that the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus has made you free from the law of sin and death and so we want to challenge any any we want to agree with the operation of the law of the spirit of life and we want to challenge any operation of the law of sin and death i want you to understand that sin is what introduced death into the earth and death is manifested in different ways it's not just physical death but it is manifested in, through sicknesses through calamities through 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 all sorts of devices of the enemy and tonight or this morning depending on where you're logging in from we want to take a step stand for God and say we stand for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. That is why Jesus declared in John chapter 10 verse 10, he says the thief comes only to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I have come, glory be to God. I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. And so in any situation where any of our children may be experiencing anything short of the abundance that Jesus came to do, to pay, to die for. We want to take a stand and say no in the name of Jesus. Of course, you know the first arena we are talking about is in their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, the Bible says that there are some people, they have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. thereof. That is not the portion of our children. In other words, they know about God. They've heard about God. They followed us to church, but they are not walking with God in their own personal life. I have found out from the school. 
has no grandchildren. And so every child ought to come into their own relationship with the Lord Jesus. I hope you are still praying even as I'm rattling away. I want you to begin to pray concerning your own, your child's relationship with the Lord and begin to clear the atmosphere, begin to begin to, to sweep up any kind of, of fog or, or any kind of, of smoke screen, hindering them from a vital, healthy relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He says, marvel not that I said to you, you must be born again. This is the criteria. There are no middle grounds. You have to be born again. You have to be born of the water and the spirit of God. In other words, the word of God must wash you. The spirit of God must give you a rebirth. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, it says being born again, not of anything incorruptible, but of the incorruptible word of God. Glory be to God. And so as we are praying concerning the spiritual journey of our children, we are not just asking that they be born again. We are asking that they be filled with, with consistent encounter with the spirit of God that causes them to be established in their faith. So that like Paul said, my little children, Galatians 4.19, uh, of whom I traveled in birth, I travel again until Christ before me. Just continue to pray in the spirit and just intercede. And so as we continue to pray in the spirit, we want to begin to pray concerning the spiritual journey of our children, that it will be one that is thriving, one that is that is strong. Unmute yourself with me and pray. God, this is I destroy and shut every darkness around them in the name of Jesus. I bring down Thank 
Oh, that our children will rise up with a strong desire, a strong desire, a desire that is stronger than any of any other desire, a desire to follow the Lord, a desire to walk with the Lord. The Bible says, as the deer pants after water, so will my soul long after you. Ah, that the Jesus said, those that will hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. Begin to pray for a hunger, begin to pray for a thirst to be deposited in the hearts of your children for righteousness, for the kingdom of God, so that as, as that thirst and hunger arises, the spirit of God begins to fill it in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for, for all the laborers you have designed specifically for our children to bring in the harvest of our children not just from for, not just to get them born again but to establish them in the things of the kingdom of God. Oh, Father, with the name of Jesus, we ask that you will release those bespoke, custom-made laborers that you have allocated to our children, that wherever they turn, they will meet with helpers of destiny that will, and that will enhance their, their spiritual work, that will enhance their relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. We, we carry that we surround them a healthy environment, healthy community in which where they are, where they're all, always encouraged and enhanced in their relationship with the Lord Jesus. We uproot all the obstacles keeping our children from, from yielding to the Spirit of God. Brothers and sisters, many children have been held back from yielding to the Spirit of God because of, of, of the lust of their eyes, because of, of peer pressure, because of the things that they, they want in this world Oh, Labadakas Katiana, but your own duty here in the place of intercession is to begin to uproot those desires, begin to uproot the works of the enemy. Jesus said, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. I want you to begin to tread upon every serpent and scorpion. And, and I don't mean that literally, I just mean every opposite enemy activity, keeping our children from a thriving relationship with the Lord Jesus. Some of them have have made choices of friends that are, that is distracting and keeping them from that that uh, intelligent decision or even the decision to, to, to live for God. Some of our children, they are born again by title, but they are not living for God. I want us to begin to believe God that their lives will be turned around in such a way that they will yield fully, yield their members fully to the spirit of the living God. In Labrodo Sekemete Kuria Dasankaria Bashiga Lepa Dasakara. 
some of our children have been have been lied to by 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 uh, 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 some other religious community that has lied to them especially the spirit of the age where it has it has told them that you don't need god there is no need for god the bible says such god turns over to a reprobate mind so we want to believe god for our children that they will not yield to unsound doctrine we want to pull down the strongholds of the spirit of the age so it exalts only i me my and myself i will be pulled down the stronghold of the spirit of the age that some of our children who have made uh, anti-christ lifestyle choices i want you to begin to pray that every desire every yearning for those anti-christ like lifestyle choices will begin will be destroyed in this place of intercession we destroy any craving that is an anti-christ like desire anti-christ like sexuality anti-christ like uh, uh, attitude to money anti-christ like attitude to 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 their work we we crush it in the place of intercession or mute yourself bring me somebody Somebody, somebody. Anybody else have to pray for their children? Ya <laughs> <laughs> 
brothers and sisters, I want us to pray against the spirit of the age. The Bible says in Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse seven, it says the spirit of lawlessness is already at work. In other words, that the works of iniquity, the spirit of the Antichrist has already been released. The Antichrist himself has not showed up, but he has sent his own forerunners to steal, kill, and destroy, to, 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 to lure our children away from the path of righteousness. But the Bible says only he who lets, will let, or as other translation says, he who restrains the spirit of lawlessness will continue to restrain the spirit of lawlessness, and that he is you and I, that he is the body of Christ. We are the restraining power. We are keeping the spirit of lawlessness. We are keeping it away from, from, from wherever we want it to be kept away from. So to the extent that we're able to keep it away, that is the extent to which it is able to keep away. And so we're all going to leave our children to chance and say, oh, they will find out. No, they will not find out. We want to make sure that the spirit of lawlessness is not at work in them. The spirit of the age, the spirit of the Antichrist, always speaking against the counsel of God. The, the, that's why Paul said, pulling down strongholds. Strongholds need to be pulled down. And so as we're praying for our children, we're pulling down the strongholds of the spirit of the age. The spirit of the age is, is centered on self, is a selfish spirit. I don't know about you, but there are young people who don't even believe that they ought to think about anybody in their own minds. Life just goes on around them. Everything revolves around them. Even in, in, in regular uh, practice at home, they just want to wash their own plate. If, if they ever wash, they want to wash only the plates they use. They want to move only the only the litter that they drop. They don't want to think about a, a bigger picture. It is the spirit of the age. We see it in our children and we're like, oh no, why are you doing this? It is the spirit of the age and that is why we need to be serious about it in a place of prayer that our children will not yield to this spirit. It is a, it is a spirit that that centers on itself. And Paul said it in 2 Corinthians, 2 Timothy chapter 3, and in verse um, 2 Timothy chapter 3, I'm going to read it quickly so that we can get into praying. Paul said that, that it's it's a spirit that that um let's read it and, and so that I don't rattle too much. It's a, it's a spirit that that just is consumed by itself. He it says uh, uh it, um the spirit speaks expressly. Second Timothy chapter one, chapter three, verse one. The spirit, um, the spirit speaks. In the last days, perilous times shall, shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. They will only love themselves. And that is why we're praying for our children, that even as they, they mature in our hands, that they will not be selfish. Some children will not even want to look back. They don't think they care. They should care about what's happening to mommy and daddy when they're older. We want to begin to believe God, that the spirit of God will move upon the lives of our children, that the, that the community will not, will not be the the one that, that the, 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 the current culture out there in the world will not be what is leading them, but they'll be led by the Spirit of God, that by the Spirit of God, they will not be covetous, they will not be boastful, they will not be proud, blasphemers, they will not be disobedient to parents, they will not be ungrateful, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. We know what that means. It, 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 it's, it's an anti-Christ lifestyle. Uh, it's an anti-Christ uh, sexuality. Uh, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent fairs, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. They have a form of 
of godliness, but they denied the power of God. And so the Bible says from such turn away. So we want to begin to, okay, pray, okay. to pray in the spirit over the lives of our children that they will not yield to the spirit of the age. Children who would love their parents to the extent that they, they are willing to look after them in old age. Lebro dosa kanya hatasa or mute yourself. We have a few minutes to pray over that. the spirit of the age because they don't believe in God. It, it, therefore, he believes in whatever I feel good about, I will do, not knowing that you cannot, you cannot begin to be a God unto yourself, not knowing that you have to be accountable to God. You have to at least, even if you're not accountable to a human being, even though that's not right in itself, but you have to be accountable to God. You have to bring yourself under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, under the leadership of God. And therefore, some people say, oh, I will do with my body what I feel like doing with my body. That's not the that's not in agreement with First Corinthians chapter 16. The Bible says your body was not made for immorality. Your body was not made for unwholesome sexuality. Your body was not made for destruction. Your what the Bible says, a body he has prepared for me, talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus a body, just like he gave us a body. And so that body ought to be working for God here on earth. And so we stand in the name of Jesus against the spirit of the age. Come on, let's do this two more minutes. In the name of Jesus, we come against the spirit of the age, the spirit of lawlessness, the spirit of ingratitude, the spirit of, of selfishness, selfish ambition, always seeking me, my, and myself. We break and destroy the yoke of the spirit of the age. Unmute yourself. Two more minutes. Let's just pray over that and we will get a break. Somebody pray with me. Somebody pray with me. Somebody. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Let's do it. In the morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Overpower the spirit of the age by the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. We overpower the spirit of the age by the law of the spirit of Christ in Christ Jesus. We overpower the spirit of the age in its influences and in its machinations against our children. We declare that our children are free to follow the Lord all of the days of their lives in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for coming to halfway, a bit of a halfway, but we're just going to listen to very quick announcements and a testimony and we'll be right back to finish our prayer. Just remember that right at the end of the meeting, we would have communion about, about 57 past and will be time to start uh, just in time to start extended at 8 a.m. So over to you, announcer. Thank you, Pastor Adatha. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us this morning on Reset My Seed. And um, you can contact us through our mailing list and you can get ministry updates, prayer. You can send us prayer requests. You can send us feedback and testimonies. And please go on to YouTube uh, to find our channel, Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations, where you can like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And you can watch the videos and use them to bless other people and also in your prayer time. Our email address is prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. And the website is oasisoflove.org.uk slash prayerbootcamp. So you can take a screenshot of those uh, addresses on the screen so you can save them for future reference. If you have not been receiving our regular weekly Friday emails and used to, then please check your spam or junk folder and mark the email address as a safe one so that you can continue to receive them. And the email address is prayerbookcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. If you haven't yet been receiving them, then please contact us. You can either share your um, email address with one of the hosts and we will uh, subscribe you, or you can email us directly and we will save your email and add you to the mailing list. And a bit of housekeeping, please only unmute your phone if you're in a quiet place. If you're anywhere where there's some background noise, then please mute yourself so as to preserve the quality of the recording and it's useful for future use. And when you're unmuted, please ensure that your volume is lower than the speakers so that we can hear the instructions and the uh, passages that are being shared. Do turn your videos off so as not to cause any distraction and have your communion emblems ready for the end of the meeting. Next week, Saturday, the 20th of August is our Getting to Know You Hangout session. So if you're in the UK, particularly if you're in London, please endeavor to join us. It's uh, from 12 to 3 p.m. UK time at the Oasis of Love Christian Center in Leytonstone. The address is on the screen, but you can also check the website for more details. And it will be really helpful if you could sign up so we knew how many people were coming. And for those people that think that maybe Pastor Agatha is actually a figment of their imagination, that's the day that you will find out that she really is a real person. Prayer School 103. So this has been going on since June and it happens on the second and fourth Thursdays of every month from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. You do need to register for this. It is not on the usual uh, Zoom link that we use for all the other meetings, but it is a free registration. And this is where we learn all about prayer. And there's some really anointed ministers that have been teaching us. All the teachings are also on the YouTube channel. So please feel free to avail yourself of that resource. The next session is in two weeks time on Thursday, the 25th of August. And the topic is effective prayer and fasting. 
and spirobics is here. So again, this has been going on for a few, uh, for a couple of weeks now, started on the 1st of August, and we're into the home straight the last couple of days. This is where we pray in the spirit daily for 30 minutes to build spiritual fitness and to stand against stubborn resistance. So we pray in tongues for 30 minutes, and we have instructions by a leader to, uh, who guides us and helps us to pray with the help of the Holy Spirit. It's for 30 minutes from 7 to 7.30 p.m. It's the same Zoom link that we use for all the meetings, same as this one. So please join us tonight at 7 p.m. for 30 minutes. And on the 21st of August, that is next week, Sunday, we have a night of worship and witness. We had one earlier in the year and it was absolutely amazing. That's where we share testimonies. We give praise to God for all that he's doing. And we just, you know, just rejoice massively in the presence of God. So please join us on the 21st of August, same Zoom link as this one, 6 to 8 p.m. Reset My Seed Extended is a focused prayer meeting once a month with a particular focus on one prayer topic for 30 minutes. And it's an extension of the Reset My Seed meeting. So an extension of this morning's meeting, for example, it happens on the second Saturday of every month. And so we are having one today, eight from, from 8 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., uh, sorry, a.m., <laughs> straight after the main Reset meeting. So just stay on this link and we carry on with the extended session. And the topic for today is divine healing for our children. Stronger and Better Marriages is on the third Wednesday of every month, and it's from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. UK time. It is again on the same uh, link as this one. This is where we pray for our marriages, for the marriages of our children or the people that we are related to, uh, whether we want them to get married or they are already married, we pray that they will be marriages that are as God ordained. And we are using the same Zoom link again. And the next meeting is this coming Wednesday, August the 17th. So please join us where we have uh, power packed prayer leaders who guide us and lead us as we pray our marriages into God's purposes. Pray with me somebody is our weekend telephone prayer line and that's on Saturday and Sunday from 2 p.m. to 12 midnight UK time and the telephone number is on the screen so please take a screenshot and share with people that you know or avail yourself of its use. Here we have uh, prayer warriors who are on the end of the line who will agree with you in prayer concerning anything that you desire to have prayer for. So please call and speak to our spirit-filled prayer leaders and share this number with people that you know that might be needing it at some time in the future. It is only available on the weekends from 2 p.m. to 12 midnight on Saturday and Sunday. Encounter night is a night where we pray for ourselves. All the sessions that we have mentioned, they are generally praying for other people and situations, but this is where we pray for ourselves. And it happens on the first Sunday of every month. The next meeting is on the 4th of September, and it's for two hours from 9.30 to 11.30 p.m. UK time using the same link. So here we pray for our needs, our walk with God, our spiritual lives, our ministries, our relationships, our family life, our health, our professions, our jobs, everything that is to do with just us. And so this is a night that you do not want to miss. Encounter nights, the first Sunday of every month, 9.30 to 11.30 p.m. UK time on the same Zoom link. And the next Reset My Seed meeting is again next week, Saturday, but this time it's going to be 11 p.m. UK and Nigeria time. So the first two Saturdays of the month are in the morning and the second, uh, third and fourth Saturdays are in the evening. And if there's a fifth Saturday, we do not have a meeting. So please send your testimonies to prayerbookcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk. We do read them out anonymously in our prayer meetings to give glory to God, to inspire the faith of other people, and to encourage the brethren. I'm very quickly going to share this screen that has a list of all the meetings that we have in August so that you know when they're what is happening and when they're happening. You might want to take a screenshot so you can save it and put them in your diary and share them with other people. And now I'm very quickly going to read a testimony that we have received from one of our uh, family who has all praise 
that she wants to give to God. Reset My Seat has been a lifeline during a very challenging time in the world and also in my family. During the prayer meetings, Pastor Agatha includes a prayer point for our children's health. Praise the Lord, I have come to testify that God does hear and answer prayer. In her early teens, my daughter was diagnosed with severe asthma and had continued to struggle with it into her 20s. She was flagged as a person with a compromised immune system and especially at risk. She could not afford to contract COVID. She was in college throughout the pandemic and there were times she called us as she was experiencing distress due to the isolation of the periodic lockdowns. The whole situation was impacting her negatively and we would have to pray with her to encourage her and calm her down. We thanked God that she came through it all in good physical and mental health and was able to successfully complete her studies without contracting the virus. Two days after her graduation from college, she fell quite ill. And after two days of fever, etc., we took her to the hospital where she was treated for the fever and sent home. The next day, the hospital called to confirm that she had tested positive for COVID, but that she had passed the contagious stage and she would just stay home and rest. She was actually much better already and was out and about when she got the call. She continued to recover and was back to her old self in a couple of days. We praise the Lord for protecting and preserving her and us all from the ravages of that evil disease. And we call her completely healed of asthma. Praise the Lord. Over to you, Pastor Agatha. Wow, praise the Lord, somebody, the God, our healer, Jehovah Rapha, the God, our healer. The doctor in the house has done it again. Let's just thank the Lord with our family uh, because that's our family. That, yes, that testimony, you, the testimony of Jesus. one is the yes, testimony yes. of all. We want to thank, thank the Lord. Thank you, thank you, Father. We bless you. Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you. 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 Let him praise the Lord. We have breath and we praise you, Lord. You are indeed the doctor in the house. Thank you because we are confident that you are constantly driving out all forms of manifestations of sickness and disease, driving it far from us through the healing power that you have released in our lives. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Congratulations to that family and congratulations to as many of us as are trusting God for full deliverance and full recovery from any kind of sickness or disease in the lives of our children. We're going to deal with that at the, at the research extended. So let's just for one more, one more uh, session, pray over our children's relationships, their relationships, their allegiances. The spirit of the age comes through manifestations in the culture that they live in, in the community that they live in, in the lives of the people that they relate with. And so we want to begin to pray over their connections, their relationships, their allegiances, and especially those that are even beginning to think about life partners. Let's begin to pray over the relationships of our children, that the Spirit of God will begin to will be preeminent over those relationships, over those allegiances. There's no such thing as my friend, my child doesn't have friends. The Bible says it is not good for man to be alone. That was God speaking. And so God made every human being a social being. Your child is relating to somebody some way, somehow. May not be talking to them physically, but may be talking to them virtually. I want you to know that every kind of allegiance has its own influence. The Bible says there are many voices in the world, and not one of them is without significance. And so there is a voice coming from all the allegiances that your children have. This is 
is our, ch our chance to begin to, to, to cleanse that voice, to begin to, to, to mute the ones that are not of God and amplify the ones that are of God or mute yourself. We have only a few more moments to go before the end of this segment. The relationship of our children, 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 the relationship of our Oh, 
God sent healthy lifetime relationships. God sent healthy lifetime relationships, life partners, relationships for marriage, marital relationships. Mm -hmm. Begin to call for God sent okay. healthy lifestyle relationships. We have only one more minute to go. Grab your communion emblems. Let's bring these prayers to a close on the on the basis of of, of calling for healthy relationships. Master Taconia and our daughters will be found by our sons and our sons will rise up as men and with their eyes open will see our daughters in the name of Jesus. Come on and meet yourself. You believe in it, don't you? Rato so tembalando se que ni mando sanga shado do do yalo ko shado do 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because we have come to the communion table. We say we have come to the end of, of, of blindness, spiritual blindness in our lives and in the lives of our children. Just as you open the eyes of the brethren on the way to Emmaus after breaking the bread, Lord, let there be an opening of the eyes of our children where it comes to relationship, where it comes to marriage, where it comes to the spirit of the age, where it comes to their relationship with you, where it comes to their behavior at home, where it comes to their academic excellence. We declare in the name of Jesus an opening of the eyes, revelation knowledge in the name of Jesus. I declare Claire, oh, revelation knowledge to be released into every child, every household on account of the breaking of the bread. In Jesus' name, we sanctify these emblems in Jesus' name to represent the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Go ahead and partake of the communion. And I'm just going to stop this recording so that we can go straight into um, 